Mark Boulier Show, where we show Johns and sometimes drip. Drip or drown, baby. Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is I, Mark, Mark Boudelier, and today we have another pickup video. I'm going to show you guys clothing, I'm going to lift fabric, and I'm going to put it down and then lift the next piece of fabric. Before we get into the video, if you're new here, hi, welcome, and subscribe. Hit the push notification bell, hit the like button, leave a silly little comment, and uh, hopefully this video will do well. The last one did great, so thank you guys. I'm gonna get more consistent starting now. Expect a video today, expect a video next week and expect a video the week after that. Let's get into these pickups. Here's the first pair of pants. So these are from the brand Kazaburo. I have talked about them before. Really, really cool brands. These are the Wave Sashiko Dexter Pro Pant, I believe. They are the exact same pair of pants as the wool pair that I have, if you guys know which ones I'm talking about. But these are just a lighter, more spring weight material. I haven't really gotten to wear these a ton yet because it's been a little bit chilly still. Continuing on with pants, I have a lot of pants in this pickup video, so uh, that's, you know, if you're into pants, this is the video for you. We have these from the brand Double or Doublet. You can tell by the massive tag, which surprisingly doesn't bother me too, too much. You would think this would be like itchy or get in the crack maybe, but it doesn't. It stays, you know, nice and down on the pants. It's just a nice wide whale black corduroy with a nice little flare. Throw on some little Western boots, throw on some tabussies and uh, maybe a t-shirt, leather jacket. You'll instantly look great. More pants that are kind of flared. These are from No Maintenance. They are their like military cargo flare sort of vibe thing. They sent me these a while ago and when I initially opened them and tried them on, I was kind of like, I don't know, I was kind of like whatever about them. I, I was like, they're cool, but like, they're not that great. Recently, I tried them on again because I was like, you know, I need to start wearing more of my clothing. I feel like I wear the same shit every day and I need to like switch it up. So I tried them back on and I was like, well, they might not be that bad after all. They actually fit pretty well. These are a size 28, but they fit so high on the waist that I usually would wear a 30 and these fit really well. The pocket details are a little bit odd. You can see they're very high up on the leg and it also has like the button pocket as well as like where your hand can insert. My biggest gripe with these pants is just that this pocket right here is pretty small. So if you put your ginormous phone, which mine is ginormous. It just doesn't really work that that well. All things considered, these are really nice and I'm gonna be wearing them a lot more now that I came to my senses. Moving away from pants for a moment, we have this lovely vintage sweater. Just a very simple sweater vest, brown checks. It's kind of cutesy. It fits me a little bit snug, but my girlfriend also very much likes this sweater and it fits her well. Um, kind of her oversized me tight. We can sort of share it. Super cute. So sweet. Um, yeah. Next up, we have a couple pieces from the brand Samuel Zelig. We have this t-shirt right here. It says Greenwood Folk Festival. I love the green collar on it. I also like that it's singly dingly and it's just a good graphic. I used to live on Greenwood Ave in Atlanta, so it's like weirdly kind of has some uh, sentimental value, sure, I guess. Probably not the same Greenwood, but we can pretend. They also sent me a hoodie, which is this nice, like, very soft, kind of more springish weight blue patch hoodie. Seaboard track, don't know what that is, but uh, it's nice, it's a good one. I'm gonna show you guys a couple t-shirts. These I fished out of the dirty clothes, so they're gonna be wrinkly, it might be a little smelly, a little stained, all of that good stuff. These are from Mersby Schwannen. It is their blank basic sort of tees. This one is from their Good Basics line, which is slightly more affordable than their other, like the one that's in the bear. If you guys didn't know, Mersby Schwannen is the bear tee brand that the dude who is in that TV show, um, the one that he wears, so I don't watch it. I just appreciate the tees. This one is the Good Basics one, which the only main difference is that it is singly dingly and has like an ever so slight heathering to the fabric, which you ultimately do not notice when you're wearing it. Super soft material, fits a little bit slim. It's a little bit long, perfect for like tucking. I'll show you the white one as well. This one is from not the Good Basics line. This is like the bare tee. Good, soft, luxurious feeling sort of tee. 
Are they expensive? Yes. If you got the bread to spend, they are good. Um, these were gifted. So shout out Mersby Schwannen and shout out the bear. I love, love that show. Anyways, next up, we are going back to pants. We got two from the brand Studio Nicholson, which arguably some of the best pants in the game, in my opinion. Just really, really good fits. This pair is like a cotton nylon blend, which is kind of interesting. Sort of a nice hand feel. They're very dark gray. They're very voluminous. And then the other pair that you probably are not getting a full view of right now are the ones I'm wearing, which is their pooch denim, which um, are really, really nice. They feature a pleat, a nice voluminous leg, this lovely indigo color. I've been wearing these almost every single day and I really need to stop. And then the last pair of pants that I have are these ones from Craig Green, which I kind of bought these on a whim, to be honest. I was outside in New York. It was raining a lot. I was wearing jeans. My jeans were like 20 pounds, just soaked with water. And I was really uncomfortable and wanted some rainproof pants. So I went to the second street, I found these. Are they a little bit big in the waist? Yes, but they get the job done. Again, they feature a pleat, but because the nylon is like kind of lightweight, they look a little funky on. Like I feel like they look good when I like stand perfectly still, but when I start walking, I feel like the cut of them like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm like in love with them. Maybe I'll sell them eventually if I find another pair of rain pants that I prefer, but you know, when you're living in a city and you're having to walk and it's raining, it's good to have a pair of pants that like at least kind of you know, repels the water. Let's get into some jackets. First up, we will show this one from Post Archive Faction. It is a bomber jacket. It's this really like substantial nylon material, like very uh, crinkly. You'll see that there is like a zip at the collar. There's one on the back that goes like all the way up, like midway up the jacket. Some embroidery, subtle branding, nothing super crazy about it. I feel like the zippers are kind of like, maybe not pointless, but just kind of random I don't know like I don't know if they really change the fit of it that much still a good jacket this one's a medium probably could have done a small as well but nevertheless very solid so shout out post archive faction this one was gifted from them so I appreciate it next up which maybe I showed this to you guys I really don't remember this is the junior spring summer oh Six? It's either 06 or 03 military field jacket. Most recent Supreme collab they did, they did like a puffer version of this jacket. So this was like the inspo piece there. It fits a little bit odd. Like I feel like I should be six foot to wear this jacket. Like the length is just a little bit strange, but it's workable. It's a good jacket. It's something that's like, would be really hard to find again. All right, lastly, we have the big boy, the capital Boro jacket, which you guys probably I've already seen this before. This is definitely like one of those fashion dude pieces that everyone knows about. Tons of people have it. It's really expensive, but I got it secondhand for a pretty good price. Really just a price that I couldn't refuse. No matter how popular these get, I still think it just looks really, really good on pretty much anybody. Before we get into shoes, I wanna quickly show some jewelry. So I recently did a second collaboration with Eskaton, who is an Australian based jeweler who does everything by hand. All of the ones in our collection are silver. And yeah, so I just wanted to run you through those items real quick. They're available now for like the next week for pre-sale. They've been out for like a week. We have this one right here. This is the citrine cooler ring, citrine stone. It's like this lovely sort of yellowish, almost orangish stone, almost like an egg yolk color. And then when it hits the sun, I feel like it looks really, really nice. And then you can sort of see the texture on it as well. The under parts of this like texture are oxidized, meaning that they're like darker. And then the outer part is polished. So it makes it kind of pop. And then over time, that oxidization will ultimately just become shiny. Here's the other one we did. This was just the cruller without the citrine. Just a really beautiful texture. Kind of goes with everything. Very beefy, substantial weight. And lastly is the patchwork chain, which we tried to do a different chain. And ultimately there was nothing that we could come up with like in our sampling process that really could compare to the original. So you can see all the different types of links. And then there is the dog tag pendant as well as the little spiky boy. I'm very satisfied with the entire collection. So there's one more week for pre-orders and then that's it. Anyways, let's get on to shoes. First up, we have the 80s Ortega boots, which if you guys have been following the channel for a bit, you know that I actually already have a pair that I beat to the ground to the point where the sole literally fell off. But 80s finally reached out and said, hey, we'd love to send you a new pair. And I was like, 
Hey, thanks. Still a really good looking pair of boots. I still need to break these in because I know it's gonna be brutal. The last pair made my heels bleed. And before you ask, I do still have the old pair. I actually recently got them resold um, on this like Vibram sole. I don't think I've shown these yet either actually. It is the Martine Rose Clarks. These are like the sandals, so it's like a puffy leather. I think this collaboration is pretty cool. I'm a big fan of Martine Rose. I like Clarks as well. I kind of wish I went up a size on these because these are like an eight and a half and I think I should have done a nine. Maybe I'll just let the dogs out in these and uh, they'll fit a little bit better. Couple pairs of Asics. We have the Novelist, which again, Feel like I should have gone a half size up on these. And then the Gel Cayano 14s, which these are cool as well. I haven't really worn either of these yet. I'm kind of having some issues with uh, wearing my entire wardrobe. I kind of just wear the same stuff every day. I'm gonna try and like really start wearing more of my closet. I think I might even make that into a video of just like wearing a different outfit each day for a week. Let me know if that interests you and maybe I'll do that. One last pickup and these were a gift that I got like right before getting the 80s. So they're pretty similar, honestly. This is from the brand Scene and Cosine or Sign and Cosine. You see the square toe. It is a back zip and uh, it's on a Vibram sole. So pretty solid stuff, pretty good leather. I haven't really worn these two too much yet either. So you guys can see that I have a lot of shoes to, to kind of break in here. Lately, I've just been wearing like the same pair of pair of boots. Moving on to accessories. First, we have this light from a collaboration between Tom Bogo and Gantry. It's made of like some sort of recycled plastic or recycled plant materials or something like that. Just a nice ambient light. It looks like a little purse. I kind of just have it sitting on the ground here. Maybe I'm going to move it at some point, but I haven't really found a perfect spot for it yet. We do have a fragrance it's from Le Labo. I went to an event the other evening and they gave everybody a bottle of the Tuberous Tuberose 40. To be honest, kind of just smells like clean laundry. Like it's like a nice scent, but it's not like anything super crazy. It's just like a nice clean sort of subtle fragrance. My girlfriend likes this one. I like it as well, but I'm probably just gonna let her have it because I don't really think I would actually use it every single day. But what's, uh, what's funny here is you'll, you'll notice the name. They always put your name on the bottle. Um, we have Holden, Holden D's. This wasn't my doing. Um, I actually made mine under Tanner Dean, which I was with Tanner at the time. And then he tried to get all funny and he put Holden D's and then I got my bottle that said Tanner Dean and we went to dinner. Some, some shifting around of the bags occurred under the table without me being aware. And uh, on my walk home, I got a text telling me to, to check my bag. He done, he done got me. Anyways, that's pretty much it. That's all I got for you. Uh, if you like this video, cool. If you didn't, my bad. Um, until the next one, bye. <laughs>